Hi guys, we are back with Ali again. We are showing the evolution of her hair from getting ready for drip dye to having the drip dye to retouching what was left of the drip dye and now we're going to completely get rid of it. So you can see that Ali's hair has roots of course but also the color is almost completely faded. All we have left is a little bit of staining on the ends. Ali is tired of how high maintenance it is being blonde right to the root. In a short amount of time, she feels like she sees roots right away and has to come back in. So we're going to be transitioning her from a full head of blonde to a highlighted blonde look. What we're going to be doing is putting in blonde foils and as well low lighting the hair, putting back in some of her natural to break up the blonde. With funky colors, what happens is that they fade and fade and fade, but they hit a point typically where all that's left is staining and it's not going to fade out anymore. So what we have to do is we have to lift out the color with the lightener. Here are the sections for her highlights. So it's super important to section the hair out first. It helps you stay organized and it keeps foiling super efficient. We are going to start in Allie's fringe section because she wears her hair to the right. We're going to make sure to put her foils in angled into the other direction towards her left. What that's going to do is going to make sure the color is very diffused and it does not look stripy. If we were to put the foils in also slanting towards the right like her fringe, what you're going to see is a striping pattern with the blonde foils. We are going to be putting in a slice of blonde, leaving a section out, another slice of blonde, and then now what we're going to do is we're going to be putting in the low light back to back with this foil. So right after this, we're also putting another slice of blonde back to back. The reason why we are sandwiching the low light in and not leaving a space of hair in between the low light and the blondes is because we're recreating and reverse engineering what highlights would look like. So we want to recreate what this would have looked like had we done her hair from her natural and if we have left a space and then a dark and then a space what would happen is that you would have a dark chunk of color right at her root and it would not blend nicely from roots to ends. We have three bowls of color here. First, we have a stronger bleach, which is going to be the Blonde Me with 7 Vol. That's for her new growth. Next, we have J. Beverly Hills Cream Lightener with a 10 Vol, which is super gentle. This is going to be used to lift out the staining. Last, we have our Low Light, which is an Ashy 7, a 7.1 and in J. Beverly Hills. And that's going to recreate her natural color to break up the blonde. We are working into the side sections now. What we're doing is we're putting in slices. We're making sure to angle them forward. This is a really good way to put your foils in to offer a really diffuse color with your highlights. When you're taking a full head of blonde that has roots that are dark, you have to consider both those things when you're turning it into a highlighted look. We need to put enough blonde in the roots that it blends in with the ends and we have to put enough low lights in the ends so that blends with the roots. We are following the same pattern. We're going to be doing two blonde slices with hair left in between. Now we're putting in a back to back low light and then right after that again another back to back blonde slice. We are not leaving a lot of hair in between these blonde foils. We want this to be a pretty heavy density foil because Allie's hair and her ends are so blonde. We need to have a lot of blonde at the roots so that it blends all the way from roots to ends. Moving on, let's start in the back in the nape section. I like to angle my foils downwards towards the center of her back that will allow for the color to look very diffused as it falls. We are going to be applying the stronger lightener at the regrowth, the Blonde Me, and then on the ends where we see the pink staining, this is when we're going to use the gentler cream lightener. 
A good technique for folding your foils to keep them clean is to fold them twice. You're going to fold it first to keep the gentle lightener all in one compartment. Next, you're going to fold it again so that the strong lightener is not touching anything that it's not supposed to touch. Now we're going to be working into the last section in the back crown area. You can choose to go either direction. So you're going to continue the pattern from the bottom nape sections. Depending on if they have a cowlick or a whirl somewhere in the back, you might choose one direction over the other. Her full head of foils is all complete now. Take a look at these foils. They're clean, they're neat. That's why it's very important to start with clean sectioning and put your foils in nice and tight and compact so that you don't have to worry about sliding or anything like that. After the foils are in, we still have to deal with the pink staining that's on the hair that isn't in the foils. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply the gentle cream lightener onto any of the pink left in between the foils. Keep your application clean and your client, so make sure you put a foil down underneath so you're not getting lightener all over their back. Clip up the hair between sections. Once that section is done, let down the next one and then so forth. Anytime you're doing any sort of color in between, you want to make sure that you're not disturbing the foils too much. It's easiest to start in the bottom on the back and then working your way up and then moving towards the sides and then starting on the bottom and working your way to the top. We are all applied now. You can take a look at this and it's already lifting out that pink really, really well. We're gonna let this sit for a very short amount of time until it's ready and then we're gonna wash it out. Let's take her to the sink and take down her foils and give her a wash. I am toning her out with the Matrix Color Sink half 8P and half 10P. Here it is, the finished product. We have this really beautiful icy beige color. It's a really nice two-tone color with our low lights, giving a tone-on-tone -tone type of effect. As we continue, we're going to be adding more and more low lights into her hair to create more of that highlighted effect in her hair. If you have any questions, guys, leave a comment below. I'll make sure to get those answered for you. Check out naven.com slash giveaway to win free Naven prizes every month. Other than that, hit like, hit subscribe. We will see you guys next Friday. Bye.